In this module, you will learn about the use of an NPN transistor in the common emitter configuration as an oscillator. An oscillator is an electronic device that converts DC voltage into AC voltage. An oscillator consists of a transistor amplifier and a feedback network that extracts a part of the output of the amplifier and feeds it back as input to the transistor amplifier. A commonly used feedback network consists of an LC circuit formed by the combination of an inductor with inductance L and a capacitor with capacitance C. This is a resonant circuit that produces an output of a particular resonant frequency. A simple circuit used to understand a transistor oscillator is shown here. The circuit contains an NPN transistor in the common emitter configuration with the base emitter junction forward biased and the base collector junction reverse biased. The input circuit of the transistor is connected to a coil T1 across terminals 1 and 2. The output circuit of the transistor is connected to a coil T2 across terminals 3 and 4. Note that coil T2 forms a part of the LC circuit used for the feedback network. Coils T1 and T2 are wound on the same core so that they can influence current in each other through inductance. The output circuit also contains a switch S. When the switch is open, the transistor cannot conduct and is in the cutoff state. When the switch S is closed, the collector current rises from zero to a peak value as shown in the graph. As the collector current rises in coil T2, it induces a current in coil T1. Due to this inductance, or positive feedback from coil T2 to coil T1, the emitter current also rises to a peak value as shown in the graph. When the inductor current reaches the peak or becomes maximum, it stops rising further and the transistor goes into the saturation state. When the transistor goes into the saturation state, the current stops changing in coil T2 and therefore inductance or feedback from coil T2 to coil T1 stops. When the inductance or feedback from coil T2 to coil T1 stops, emitter current starts decreasing. As the emitter current decreases, the collector current also starts decreasing. The decreasing collector current in coil T2 sends a negative feedback through induction to coil T1. The negative feedback further decreases the emitter current and the collector current till both become zero. At this stage, the transistor is back to the cutoff state. From the cutoff state, the transistor moves to saturation state and back. The cycle continues, giving rise to an AC output. The frequency of the AC output voltage is equal to the resonant frequency of the LC circuit formed by the inductance L of coil T2 and the capacitance C. Since the LC circuit is connected on the collector side of the common terminal, this form of an oscillator circuit is called the tuned collector oscillator. You have now reached the end of this module.
In this module, you have learned that an oscillator is an electronic device that converts DC voltage into AC voltage. An oscillator consists of a transistor amplifier and a feedback network that extracts a part of the output of the amplifier and feeds it back as input to the transistor amplifier. A commonly used feedback network consists of an LC circuit formed by the combination of an inductor L and a capacitor C. A transistor oscillator works by constantly shifting the transistor between its cutoff and saturation states. The frequency of the AC output voltage is given by nu naught equal to 1 by 2 pi into square root of L into C. When nu naught is equal to resonant frequency of LC circuit. L is equal to inductance of the LC circuit. C is equal to capacitance of the LC circuit.